Hi, welcome to our second part of our new items presentation for Merklab. In this portion, we'll discuss more of the other European countries and the models that Merklab brought out. So we're starting with the TGV uh, duplex. And uh, if you remember a couple of years ago, Merklin brought out the uh, 37797. That was the record setting, uh, speed record setting train uh, TGV duplex. Uh, now sold out at the factory and at the time of this video, we still have uh, it in stock for you. That was a five car train. This one will be uh, set up as a four car train. And then depending on uh, how much space you have on your layout, you can add the uh, add-on cars. Interesting about this uh, revised version of the uh, TGV or overhauled version is they now went, of course, to the uh, double-decker setup, the duplex as they call it. And uh, it was quite an engineering challenge because they had to keep the uh, permissible axle load at a certain weight and uh, therefore um, going to a double-decker setup they had to do all kinds of things uh, re-engineering using aluminum for the skins uh, hollow axles all kinds of stuff to keep the weight um, down of these cars so there are additional car sets uh, to add depending on how much space you will have as i said we jump over to uh, holland and uh, here's a beautiful version of the uh, 1200 uh, locomotive a few uh, details have changed, uh, or uh, one of them being the uh, side fans, and the other one is the uh, lighting. In Holland they had uh, yellow headlights, and um, these two top lights, one of them would be on, but would be in white, and could also become the tail light if the uh, locomotive was running in the other direction. A funny side note is that they had the uh, white light on one side, but it would sometimes blind the engineer. So they ended up having to switch it to the other side. Here you see a prototypical uh, uh, combination with German cars. It's these German cars right here. Uh, picture taken at uh, Rotterdam CS, Rotterdam Central Station, uh, quite a few years ago. Here you see the 1200 again, uh, pulling these hopper cars. These hopper cars were from a company called Armita. Um, it was a Dutch leasing company that uh, would lease these cars out to uh, the NS, the Netherlands uh, Railroads. Another small uh, tank car from the Zout Industrie Hengelo Buckelo. And that's about, uh, I would say, era, era three. And then um, these uh, Calcium cars used in the, mainly in the cement industry and also in the uh, fertilizer industry. All typical cars to be pulled by the 1200. Then we jump over to Belgium, these uh, passenger cars. The uh, first class car has all new tooling. So this is new in the assortment. Uh, these cars, the other cars you have seen before, but this, the first class is all new tooling. And of course, these cars are perfect to go with the surprise locomotive from uh, late last year, the 39480. And again, a beautiful picture of the new locomotive with the cars in a uh, very suitable setting. Then we also have a set of uh, maintenance cars for Belgium. And as you can see, they put them with these two uh, Rx55 locomotives that you can see here. Interesting about these locomotives is uh, they semi-retired and were then repainted. And as you can see, they have the markings TVM, which uh, don't laugh about my French, but it's Transmission Voix Machine. Um, it's an alerting system essentially from the track to the train uh, that is used in France with the high speed, the TGV lines. And uh, these locomotives were always paired up. And that's why this is also sold as a double unit. 
they were also always paired up and were used to rescue uh, TGVs that were that remained powerless or had a technical problem. So these two locomotives would uh, then be able to pull the TGV to an area where that could be re repaired or the power was restored. So that's why they were using the diesels. Uh, again, the TVM was necessary. The, the security system, the safety system was necessary uh, on those tracks. And the red band also indicates that these were the specially equipped uh, locomotives for TGV rescue. Pretty interesting. That TVM system, uh, they use block markers and uh, they divide the blocks in about uh, blocks of a mile long along the track. And um, there are certain maximum speeds for these blocks and the transmission actually goes from the track to the to the locomotive, much like we uh, we do it in our model trains. Then for our Luxembourg fans, Luxembourg is a fairly small country, but a lot of Merklin enthusiasts there. So a set of five hopper cars, Merklin tries to uh, always bring out something uh, from CFL, from Luxembourg. And the Robel Crane, we've seen this model before for Germany and Switzerland um, and Austria. Now in the Luxembourg uh, livery with a completely functional digital crane. These models are made in combination with uh, Wisman and are a lot of fun for your layout. For Italy, the class 142, which essentially is a reworked, repainted uh, Merklin, or not Merklin, Deutsche Bundesbahn V100. Uh, and a couple of low sidecars uh, with uh, steel wire. For Denmark, we have this set of uh, hinged roof hopper cars. There's 12 total in the set, uh, but since they are coupled, you would only count uh, six. So it, this is the set, they say six cars, but the cars are just like in real life, uh, permanently coupled. And then you'll see 13.1 and 13.2. So that's one, one car set. Also for Denmark, the uh, container from this big uh, company, I don't dare to say it here uh, on this video, but it's a large construction company in Denmark and a new set with uh, flat cars with uh, leopard tanks from the Danish army. The construction company also has a Robel, fully functional. And we hop over to Sweden. Uh, you think uh, Volvos and uh, IKEA furniture came out of Sweden, but they also are a very large uh, wood lumber producer. And uh, we get a set of cars here that is leased out to a company called Rush Rail. And Rush Rail also has this locomotive. And so that makes a perfect uh, set. And we recognize this type of locomotive now, again, with dynamic smoke very large uh, diesel locomotives. The uh, spherical container cars used for uh, the fine calcium, again, uh, going to cement factories. It's very typical to see these cars together with hopper cars. Hopper cars used for the more uh, rough material. And then for the fine material, they would use these, uh, these cars um, pressurized air could actually be used to fill these cars up from the bottom and otherwise they can also fill these up with the fine chalk from the top. For Norway we have this little shunting locomotive and uh, the good part about this is it has the new telex couplers. For our insider members a set of replica trucks available to order from us with your order form or your club member number. And then the second edition of the Merklin Central Station or the Merklin Digital Book 
is coming out now in English. We already have it in stock in German, but the English translation uh, should appear soon. It will be very helpful if you're getting into using the central station, how to wire, how to program, um, coming soon. Well, that concludes our Merkle new items in HO skill uh, videos. Hope you found them helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, let us know. And I look forward to your new items orders on ajckits.com. See you next time. Thanks.